Thank you very much. Everyone loves a good concert. We're looking forward to Luke Bryan on the stage in a couple of minutes. From the music to the lyrics, it can be a really moving experience to see someone or a band perform live. Of course, mm -hmm. but for some people who can't hear the music, one woman is making sure they still see whatever they want to see. Yeah, yeah. you guys, you know, of course, music brings out a lot of emotion, whether it's uplifting or sad. We feel something when we hear music. Edie Jackson is a teacher in South Carolina who's helping some deaf and hard of hearing people feel the music. Edie Jackson performs at concerts, but she doesn't play an instrument and she doesn't sing. In fact, she doesn't make a sound. I don't have musical talent. I, I will wait, wait all through the, the day. day. By day, Jackson is an interpreter who works with deaf and hard of hearing students like Keller. Catch, Catch that. But at night, she's on stage with rock bands signing for the deaf and hard of hearing. And the music scenario is just such a wonderful side gig for me because I can still teach my kids and I'm passionate about that. But then I get to run off and, and work in the music world a little bit. Jackson started working with the band Widespread Panic nine years ago. There was a request from um, a deaf patron for Red Rocks and they weren't sure what to do with that. I just remember they said, oh, 80s gonna come and interpret at right. Red Rocks. Right. And I, I think that was the first gig. That was the first one, yeah. Oh, there good. was I an, got that right. Uh -huh. While the chance of being born deaf is less than 2%, the likelihood of losing your hearing goes up with age. 13% of the U.S. population is classified as deaf or hard of hearing. Demand for interpreters at concerts has increased from Keith Urban, Bruce Springsteen, and even Iggy Azalea. A lot of deaf didn't realize, and ADA, of course, changed a lot of that, the American Disabilities Act where they have every right to an interpreter in this situation. This is tweaked from what I sent you before. Widespread panic set list it. plays out for almost three hours. No body yeah, or no she's, one. she's in spirit. Reviewing the lyrics is okay. a crucial part of the process. I tend to improvise more on right. that just right. to keep it bluesy and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. old manny. Old manny. It's not simply translating. Jackson studies to capture each song's message. It's hard to find that fine line of how much you give out of your own interpretation and how much you let that listener decide for himself or herself. She not only signs, but dances, her body interpreting the emotion and tempo of the music. If I can get a mirror, I practice here and it just helps me get it out there and see what it really looks like. Mason and Morgan Crawford, twins who were born deaf, have been students of Jackson since they were three years old. They attended a recent concert. With an interpreter, I'm able to follow along and understand and sing along with it too, so it, it helps a lot. Yeah, and you don't feel like you're alone, which is good. From being able to only see the instruments being played, with Jackson signing, deaf concert goers are also able to feel the emotion of the music. To see that in their eyes just makes me feel complete, like you've done your job. You felt like you've brought somebody in because you're there to complete their experience and they have every right to that experience. Edie plans to sign at concerts this summer with widespread panic. And you should know that interpreter can be made available at any concert. Just contact the concert venue when you buy your tickets and ask for it. I had no idea. Isn't that amazing? And she's an incredible person. And clearly there are a lot of people out there who need somebody like her to be in their lives and to be able to bring the joy of music she to She says that. she has no musical talent. I disagree. She completely yeah, she does. She really does perform she's beautifully. Amazing.